In this video, we will continue our single line duct sizing exercise by placing ductwork in a single line mode in our model. Before we begin, we must first check our HVAC auto fitting preferences, which define common settings for fittings applied automatically while routing. This includes settings such as radius, throat lengths, and number of segments for elbows, divergence and convergence angles for transitions, and T's and crosses for branch lines. In the HVAC Auto Fitting Preferences dialog box, in the Elbow tab, we must set the elbow options to mitered and the size of the veins as well as the throat length to 152 mm. Once everything is set, we must remember to save these settings. In Open Buildings Designer, mechanical ductwork can be modeled in the single line mode, which allows for center line preliminary routing. As part of the duct sizing analytics, the single line workflow shortens the time spent doing preliminary routing of the system paths by making it extremely quick to establish basic routing paths and connections so that calculations can be run and the system size requirements can be established. Before we start, we must ensure that both our ACS plane lock and our ACS plane snap lock are turned off. Next, in the mechanical tab in the ribbon, we select the rectangular duct tool. In the placement options section, we select a middle center placement justification, we turn off part and family and size placement options, and set the base offset to 4100 mm and enable the single line mode. Now that the placement options have been set, we may begin placing our ductwork. We select the center of each diffuser and connect them with the ductwork. We continue connecting the diffusers as shown here. The distance between the bottom branch of diffusers and the upper one is 3750 mm. We then continue connecting the upper branch of diffusers. We can minimize our top view and now in the 3D view we can observe the connections we have established. We can disable our background reference in the reference dialog box to only display our diffusers and ductwork. This concludes this section on placing single line ductwork. In the next section, we will continue modeling by copying our diffusers and ductwork to the second floor and establishing a connection between them. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.